60 minutes overtime. 60 Minutes went to Italy this week to see how the production of fake or adulterated olive oil has become big business for the mafia. There was only one producer who could do this story right. Okay. Perfetto. It's Guy Campanile. Sono Gaetano Campanile, sono produttore di 60 minuti. That better? <laughs> That's great. Okay, good. He's Italian American, raised on a love for authentic Italian food, which was evident when we talked with him about the story. I've gone to Italy dozens of times since I was a kid. This was the first time I'd ever been there during the olive oil harvest. When you walk into the mill, you were just hit with this extraordinary aroma of olive oil that is just so pleasing. It makes the hair in the back of your neck kind of stand up. I don't know what it is, but it's almost primeval in how wonderful it is. And then when you taste it, the real thing. How about that? It's so rich. And you don't have to put any other spice on your food. You can see why the Greeks and the Romans developed this food because it really is like the food of the gods. And the color, oh, the color. When you see it there, it's this almost luminescent green. It looks like nothing you've seen before and tastes like nothing you've tasted before. Guy is talking about extra virgin olive oil which means it's the first pressing of the olive harvest, and it's 100% pure. That's why foodies love it. Can you explain how olive oil is being adulterated? Olive oil fraud has gone on for the better part of four millennia. The difference now is that the food supply chain is so vast, so global, and so lucrative that it's easy for the bad guys to either introduce adulterated olive oils or mix in lower quality olive oils with extra virgin olive oil. Are there cases where the olive oil is being cut with something that's unhealthy or even poisonous? First of all, if you kill people, bad business. Mafia hates attention. Yeah, and you want repeat customers. And you want repeat customers, exactly. So this is how you make the fake extra virgin olive oil. This is how they make the fake extra virgin olive oil. The most basic type of adulteration to create a fake olive oil is taking a seed oil, like sunflower oil. No smell at all. None. And adding chlorophyll. We just put few drops. To give it a little more color. And beta carotene to give it some fruitiness. And we were shown how this was done in the lab by Major Sergio Tiro of the Italian Carabinieri Police. And it, he did it in a matter of moments. What did you learn that could possibly help people be more educated as they're shopping? So when it comes to extra virgin olive oil, especially Italian extra virgin, look closely at the label. If the label says made in Italy, that's not good enough. Sometimes that means it was packaged, not produced there. There's often a beautiful picture of a Tuscan landscape on the front of the bottle with a very Italian sounding name and you think, okay, I got it. But chances are you're not getting what you think you're getting. The label should also indicate a specific city in Italy where it was made. Now I'll look for the location of the company that produced it. You know, is it from a city in Sicily or a city in Puglia, which is in southeastern Italy? You know, I'll know then, okay, this is this is at least from a place where they actually make olive oil. And check for the date. Olive oil is basically fruit juice. Olives are from the same family as cherries and plums. Would you eat two or three year old ju fruit juice? No, probably not. So why are we consuming, you know, rancid extra virgin? If you want to make sure you're getting truly fresh extra virgin, Guy says look closer to home. There are some wonderful oils that are made in California, which are really top notch because they're fresh. You know, they're, they're made here, so you can get your hands on them faster after the pressing than you can from stuff that's imported. So there's some benefit to buying local. Th there is, there is, there is. Although I have to tell you, I am biased. As an Italian American, as someone who's grown up with Italian food my entire life, I don't think anything could ever possibly be better, forgive me California growers, than a true Italian extra virgin. And if you're really a foodie, if you really want that experience of a genuine, fresh Italian extra virgin olive oil, then you're probably gonna have to go online. More and more 
manufacturers or growers, actually, of, of olive oil in Italy are opening up their own websites. We visited with uh, Ianotta Oil. It's run by Lucia. And, you know, she's selling directly online. And her oil is fantastic and a huge hit across Europe. Nicola Clemenza, who is working against the mafia, he's now trying to sell his oil directly to the public to get around any shenanigans that happens in the middle. Lastly, consider the price tag. The less you pay, the less likely it's authentic. If you're paying seven bucks or eight bucks for a bottle of Italian extra virgin olive oil, it's probably not Italian extra virgin. 